Good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. It is a beautiful Sunday. As you can probably tell by how much light is coming into the car right now. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. Love that. I just dropped Fran off at work. And now it's time for me to go to Whole Foods. So even though I've been there a million times from his work, I need to look it up every time. Because I don't know shit. Four minute drive. Head southeast on and make a U-turn. What? Why would I do that? No, I'm going straight. Peters, turn right under. That doesn't make sense. I don't know why I'm like so tired and out of it. I thought I would be like pumped and ready to vlog. Um, but I'm tired, just give me a sec. Just let me wake up. I love that we're just starting this morning off so early and fresh and amazing. Let's go through the to-do list. Oh, what the shit? Like, do you ever have a coffee but then you're just like, right now oh my god it's so dead this is gonna be such an experience it's gonna be me and the stay-at-home moms just ugh, all in their yoga pants enjoying their lives i just like need a second oh my god why am i like this why am i like this actually i know exactly why i'm like this why am i even questioning it last night until 1 30 no, no, definitely later. My neighbors, it was a Saturday night, I feel like they were having band practice. Like I don't even feel like they were playing like music. I feel like they had the instruments and were banging and like strumming and singing. Anyways, I just think maybe need to chug this. Oh my God, that's a really fucking nice car. Oh, and he's just driving his daughter. That's goals. I can't wait to have like a ball and ass car and just like drop my kids off at school. Like, bye, like see you later. And I'm just like, oh, it's so fun. Okay. Off topic. I can literally, this could be a vlog. I can just sit here. Whatever pops into my head, I just like speak on it. And I could sit here and put out in an, an hour vlog. Easily. I should almost have a podcast. But it wouldn't even have a subject. It would just be like, it would just be called... I'm gonna talk about whatever popped into my head. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> In other news, sorry, I just don't wanna, I'm parked at Whole Foods, if you don't believe me. There she is. I'm just not ready. In other news, I am so sore. I had such a plan to like, wake up, like when I was up at, 1 30 in the morning listening to band practice i was like planning my day today and i was just Your destination is on the left bitch i know don't try me today so i was like go to whole foods get back you know like do a little haul have like a like kind of a little snack i'm lately not hungry in the morning which is so crazy because not that i'm ever hungry in the morning but i just need to eat something well that's what i tell myself i'm like i need to eat something or i'm gonna pass out and it's like it's happened before so that's why i say that but yeah just have like a little something before i go to the gym and then go to the gym just do a nice like i was thinking like a nice cardio and then stretch i don't know i just can't even imagine getting on a treadmill right now let me just go through my day with you and i'm gonna do this with my hand so i don't go on a tangent because i'm gonna see my hand and i'm gonna remember that i'm going doing this go to whole food get home do a haul probably like eat something but probably eat something on the way i always grab something out of a bag okay hand back on track i'm literally not kidding bring pippi for a walk this, these are all the things i have to do so like laundry clean up clean the balcony basically just so much cleaning so much cleaning has to be ha has to happen today but i'm excited about it because it just needs to be done okay last tangent before i go on whole foods because like, i'm getting energy finally I recently hate all my clothes and I go this happens to me every once in a while and when I tell you I just recently spent easily close to like $700 on new clothes new shoes like trying to like find my like not find my style because I know what my style is at the end of the day I know who I am I know what I like but then I try to like venture out and like I like told myself I was like a girly girl at one point this is what being a Gemini is like apparently or like Sometimes you want to make a joke, but you know people are gonna get offended, so never mind. Um, I'm just like, like I wanted to say most multiple personality disorder, but then I feel like that's mean. Anyways, where I just like think I'm someone, and then like I, I'll act on it. Like I will literally act on it and buy like all this girly clothes, and I did. I bought so much girly clothes, and then I'm like, it's still cute. I'm still gonna wear it. It's still all brand new, but I'm like, who? 
allowed this like I'm not gonna wear this that's not my style like for example today like I'm just wearing this cropped like fluffy sweater thing and then these Aritzia biker shorts they're like beige and then my slides this is such a me outfit and then it's like I tried to venture off and get like I bought a skirt like that shit is hilarious. I'm happy I have it for days I need to actually dress up and go out or go out to dinner dinner because I don't have anything like that. So I'm gonna put it all to use, but I've literally bought it for every day. And I'm like, I'm not gonna wake up and put a skirt on. That's just not who I am. So recently I hate all my clothes, but then I have so much clothes. Every girl can probably relate. So I just need to literally force myself almost to put the stuff that I don't wear or don't even look at in a bag. Tell myself it's thrown out, but just hide it somewhere and see if I even miss it for like a month and then if I don't miss it I am donating that um, oh my god this woman is so cute oh my god I want to be her she's an african-american woman with like this flowy dress and I don't know what it's called I don't want to say the wrong thing but like hair wrapped up in like a scarf and like gorgeous gold jewelry oh my god she's so cute oh my god I'm in love with her I'm cutting this clip because it's 20 minutes. Bye. Hello, welcome back. Welcome to my odd breakfast. I just saw this and like it resonated with me out because I was going to grab something uh, to eat. Obviously, I did. But I was going to get something more breakfast-y. But... I don't know, nothing was calling my name today other than this. Just a nice, original little avocado cucumber roll. Um, and then I got a kombucha gingerade. I get this one because it tastes the best to me, but also because in these kombuchas, like not, I mean, yeah, GT is pretty bad, like bad for this too, but <clears throat> If you get like a super super natural kombucha even like those people that make it themselves and stuff you're usually good no matter what flavor you get because at the end of the day they don't put much sugar but in big brands like gt and stuff they can add a lot of sugar like you'll get like a flavor you'll be like ooh, like mango or whatever like that sounds so good but then your drink is like full of sugar and actually not good for you so ginger Gingerade has 50 calories and only 12 carbs. So I'm just gonna eat this quick now instead of like eating it while driving. Oh my god, this sushi is so fresh. They literally like just made it though. That's why like grocery store sushi is questionable if you get it like past 5 p.m. Because you know these people get up super early and make this sushi so fresh at probably like 7 a.m. When I tell you that is exactly what I was craving. Also, if like, you want to just go a little crazy in the morning, uh, have a kombucha with like zero food in your stomach and you'll have an experience. Like a mental experience, not like a, I don't know, that sounded like a gross experience. I didn't mean that, like a really good mental experience. Oh, okay. I need to calm down. <laughs> Okay, let me just have a moment. I'm just gonna do a little quick haul of my groceries. I'll go bag by bag. Excuse me, monkey. I got two of these big tofus herb flavor. Like, I don't know if you can tell in the tofu, there's like little specks. So it's kind of like flavored. Got those. The shower gel by Andalou. My mom used to get this. Um, brand I think that's how I know it or maybe I used to get it I forget um, but the scent is citrus sunflower I didn't even smell it but I feel like that smells so good oh. it's locked I'll just smell it later then I got Italian dressing because I wish I had the pasta I'll show the pasta soon but I got this pasta and I want to make basically I kind of said it already I wanted to go in and like pick stuff that just like felt good and like fresh um and i really didn't get this a lot of the same stuff that i normally get like clearly this food poisoning really is still affecting me i got another kombucha for another day i got two of these creams for my coffee and tea i love this and i got a, another one of these this is my like go-to right now i can have six of these a day i'm not kidding 
um it's called the matcha organic matcha mate um because matcha is really expensive but these it comes with 18 tea bags and i think it's like five dollars for this for like a little pack of matcha it's like 26 dollars. obviously this is not like pure matcha it's like green tea with matcha infused probably that's why it's cheaper but this tastes so good with like a little bit of this cream oh my god amazing anyways story behind this dressing in a second i spilled coffee all over this bag oh yeah let me put these away so i got this chickpea pasta which has like a lot of protein yeah 23 grams of protein per serving but i'm just gonna make a huge pasta salad with like just fresh italian dressing not too much i got i'll show you all the ingredients i got to put inside but basically just like a bunch of vegetables um i got this mascara i don't know it like caught my eye i whenever i go through whole foods i don't really look at the makeup um but this maybe it's just the packaging there's like a unicorn that says like dream i don't know relax it's this mascara and it's lash extending seven in one mascara and it's vegan cruelty free um instant length lift and separate volumizing conditioning rich color lash serum two in one brush a magic wand lets you fake it till you make it that was kind of cheesy um but i guess there's two wands i don't know we'll see we'll see how i like it i'll give you guys a review if it's good um it just looks like the packaging was just like it looked so dreamy i was like i want to look like a unicorn i got two of these bad boys which i'm probably gonna have one of these right now this is my favorite brand, but they didn't have the teriyaki flavor that I love, so I got this one in teriyaki, which is good too. I love these. This is just like original. These are like the little seaweed chip thingies. We got some little sprouted bagels to have in the morning. I've been missing like bread, because obviously when you have an upset stomach, crackers and bread like just makes you feel better, so I saw those bagels and I got peanut butter and bananas, so I'm going to make just like peanut butter, banana bagels in the morning i feel like that'd be so good i got vegan meatballs which are like defrosting i need to put this away now um i got those because i got tomato sauce um instead of pasta i got okay last bit oh this is the biggest one obviously um, okay, so this is for the pasta salad, like cut up little cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, whatever these are. The bananas I spoke of. Those will be good too for like protein shakes because I'm like working out again. So nice little protein shake. Um, a long ass cucumber. I love this in, I don't know why I'm touching it like that. I love this in water, like just chopped up in water. I don't know why it's like the freshest water ever, but then I also want to chop it up and put it in my chickpea, super yummy, fresh, light um, pasta salad. Okay, anyways, story behind the meatballs. I got a spaghetti squash. I love this. My mom used to make this all the time, and you could like mix half of this with normal pasta, which I probably will do because I still like normal pasta. But you just have this on its own. Like you bake it. I'm pretty sure you, so you cut it. You bake it. You cut it in half, and then you just like pull it. They're playing. My cat, my dog. And you just like pull it with a fork, and it makes like spaghetti. So that with the meatless meatballs. I just got this 365 organic Italian herb pasta sauce to go with that. I got some gala apples. Yeah, gala apple, I just got four. I do like to eat these on their own, but I also like to juice them. If you add an apple to any juice, it makes it taste good. Like, takes away the bitterness. And then, I got this huge bag of carrots because I love juicing carrots. <laughs> so I'll probably juice more than half of these, but then also for my pasta salad. So like this, so, so in the pasta salad, I'll probably show you maybe one day. I don't know if I'm going to make it today. If I do, I'll show you. But if I make it another day, I'll try to vlog that day too. Because like I'm talking so much about this pasta salad. You're like getting so curious, I know. Um, but I'm probably going to put carrots, peppers, tomatoes, cucumber, celery for like that crunch. 
the dressing, maybe olives. I would love, I love olives in pasta salad. I feel like normal people do, but my boyfriend hates olives. So if I do that, he won't have some. I might just put olives in my own. And that's it, like salt and pepper. But yeah, again, if I actually make it, I will vlog. I mean, I'm gonna make it, but I will vlog that day. Munchkin! I might go to the gym, I might just stay here, but I need to stretch out. I am stiff as a board, like getting in and out of the car is so hard. That's the thing with like getting back into the gym. Like basically haven't had a gym membership since college, but I've just lived places where there's a gym in the condo, but it's not like that motivating. And then I did Orange Theory for a while. But I stopped doing that. So this is the first time, literally since college, that I've had like an actual gym membership. Um, and I can just like go and do whatever I want. And I feel like I'm back, like at my old self. So I go in and I try to like lift what I used to lift and like do all these things that I used to do. And it feels good in the moment, but like my muscles obviously have shrunk since. So I think I might even make a super quick protein shake just to like help recover my muscles. I'm extremely extremely sore like all i want to do is lay in bed and like that's not productive so i'm gonna stretch like i said just like super quickly try to be quick about it this vlog is going to be so long i don't fucking care this is what happens when i don't vlog for a while so i just have so much to say and i'm not even fucking sorry about it like if you don't want to watch you're not gonna watch all i did since the last time you saw me was have a bagel with peanut butter and edit a vlog that's gonna go up later today. I don't know why this red bag is like my bag of choice. I guess because I have like no color. I don't even know if I like it with this outfit. She's so good when she sees this thing. She knows it's time to go. Okay. Good girl. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick him up and then come back, try to finish this vlog, have it up. I did some stretches, so I feel so much better. So as Dadja's inside. We're gonna play outside. <laughs> so I don't remember the last thing I filmed, but I basically just edited it all day and put up a vlog. But we're on our way to the movies right now. We're gonna go watch Rocket Ship Rocket Star. Is that what it's called? Rocket, Rocket man. man. Rocket man. Update, Fran got the time wrong and we're actually late. Um, so we're not gonna go to the movies right now. We got the next show. Update, over. I didn't get the time wrong. Update, Alexander got the time wrong. Right. And I listened to Alexander. Yeah, but blame the baby because you know. Blame him the baby because you in the movie theater, so I just <laughs> kept it under the radar. So you can blame Alexander. So now we have some time to spare, so... Tony has the amazing idea to go get bowls, burrito bowls. So we're gonna go do that. Are you gonna get anything? I feel like you're gonna. Get... Um, I'll have a piece of lettuce because I'm cutting. Yeah, come on. Francis learned some new songs today. Elsie <laughs> Gown, <laughs> baby. That movie was so good, I highly recommend it. I cried like a little bitch. But unfortunately, this vlog is just way too long. I know I for sure have like an hour of footage. I'm not kidding. Can I please have one? Just, this will make up for the tofu, asparagus, and two plus one. That's the worst part. Fine. No, you're not! How? Yeah. Touch me! Okay, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wait, you need to, you need to end this! Why the fuck do I look so orange? You did that! I don't know how to fix it! So, you didn't even try. How much you want to bet you haven't even tried? I did. <laughs> that laugh does mean you didn't even try to fix it. I didn't even laugh. Who's laughing? Are you okay? Do you hear voices? <sighs> but yeah, Rocket Man. <laughs> Would highly recommend. Actually, it's a really good movie. Go watch it. Um, and have a little healthy snack and go to bed. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel so old because I cried. You feel old because you cried? Every time I cry, I feel so old. I feel like a grandma. I feel like so crusty. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna end this. This is this is dragging on. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.